the bell icon to turn on notifications. Hi guys and welcome back to the course. This is still Deb and we are still down in section 3 where we're looking at the different methods that you can use to add different types of content into your OneNote notebooks. And so far we've seen how we can add text notes, we've seen how we can add screen clippings, and now I want to show you how you can insert pictures into your pages. So once again for this we're going to be working predominantly on that insert ribbon and we're sticking within this images group. Now you'll see within here we have two options. We have pictures and we also have online pictures. So if you have a particular image that you want to add into your notebook and you have that image already stored off locally, maybe into your my pictures folder, then you would use this option just here. However, if you want to browse online for a picture to use, you could do that through the online pictures option. And I'm going to show you an example of both of these. So let's start out with pictures that I have already saved off. So currently I am clicked on the Europe page within the offices section. And what I have on this page is just some suggested activities for free time in both of the European office locations, so London and Paris. So if this is a rollout project, we're maybe sending trainers to these different offices around the world, and those trainers might have to stay there for a couple of weeks. They're going to have some free time. We want to give them some ideas of things they can do whilst they're there. And in order to illustrate that point, make it a little bit more interesting, we're going to add some pictures in. So you can see here I have free time suggested activities and I've applied a heading one style to that particular piece of text. I then have London underneath and I have a heading two style applied to that. And what I now want to do is add in a couple of pictures of some of the main sites in London. So I'm going to jump up to the insert tab. I'm going to jump into pictures and it's going to open up file explorer. So all you need to do now is navigate to whichever folder you have those pictures stored in. And there we go. I can see a selection of pictures. So I'm going to add in tower bridge. I'm going to hold down control and also select the London eye and click on insert. And it's going to pull both of those pictures through. Now one thing to note when you insert multiple images in this way is that they will become part of the same container, the same placeholder. So maybe if I want this bottom image to be next to this image of the London Eye, if I click on it, when I drag, I'm essentially dragging it out of that particular placeholder. Now you might think to yourself, well, why is that a problem? Well, if I then wanted to add some more text in, if I hit enter a couple of times, it's going to move down one image, but this image is going to stay where it is. So just be aware of that. If you do drag an image out of its original placeholder, you may have to reorganize its placement on your particular page. Alternatively, I'm going to control Z a couple of times just to put this back how it was. So now what I might want to do here is click next to London, press enter a couple of times, and then just add some bullet points which has London Eye, Tower Bridge. And of course, again, if you don't like the font, you can go in and change the font for any of the text in your notebook. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click somewhere over in this blank space on the page, and I'm going to create another placeholder. And this one is going to be called Paris. I'm going to double click and give that a heading to format so it matches London. I'm going to drag the placeholder out and just reposition that very slightly. Now when it comes to lining things up, because really I want this Paris heading in line with this London heading, you are a bit limited with options. But one thing I will generally do is jump across to the view tab and turn on rule lines. So this just gives me some paper lines running across the page and I just find it a little bit easier to line things up when I have these turned on. So now I'm going to add some bullet points. We're going to have Eiffel Tower and Sacre Coeur. Let's apply some formatting so it matches the rest of the document. 
And now I'm going to add in my images. So up to insert, across to pictures, it's going to default to the last folder that I was in. I can pick up the image of the Eiffel Tower, hold down control, select Sacre Coeur, click on insert, and it's going to add those images in for me. And of course, these images can be resized if you need to do that. But there we go, fairly straightforward to insert pictures that you have stored off locally. So now let's take a look at how we can add in online pictures. Now this is pretty much exactly the same as jumping into Google or a different web browser, Googling an image, saving it off and inserting it, but it's just a little bit quicker as we're missing out some of those steps. What I can do is click on online pictures and it's going to jump me across to a image gallery browser, which is powered by Microsoft Bing. And what I can do is I can utilize images in any of these galleries. Or alternatively, if I know what I'm looking for, I can just type my search term into that online pictures search bar. So I'm looking for an image of Big Ben. I'm going to hit enter. And there you go. So let's select this one and click on insert and it's inserted that very nicely into the bottom of this document. I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to add an image for Paris this time. So let's jump up to online pictures once more, and I'm going to type in Notre Dame and hit enter. This image looks pretty good to me. I'm going to select it. But one thing I want to point out here is when you are adding online pictures into your documents, it's really important that you check this little setting just here. You want to make sure that you're searching and using only images that have a Creative Commons license. So it basically means you can use that image for not-for-profit reasons. So if this is just a OneNote team notebook that's going to be shared between me and maybe three of my colleagues, then that's absolutely fine. Any of these images I can use because I'm filtering for Creative Commons license. Now, even when you have this filter on, if the notebook that you're adding it into is going to be used for any kind of commercial purpose, so if you are going to demonstrate this to a wide audience, or if you're going to create a YouTube video, something that you're going to get money from, then you need to delve a bit further as to whether you can use this image. A lot of people make the mistake when it comes to copyright by thinking that if they have Creative Commons selected, they can use any image that comes up in any type of document. And that's simply not the case, and a lot of people have been caught out by this. If you're using it for a non-commercial purpose, then yes, normally it's fine, but otherwise you might want to review. And you'll see here right at the bottom, it says you are responsible for respecting others' rights, including copyright. And then you have a link to learn more here. So if you're not entirely sure what Creative Commons licenses are, then it's definitely worth having a read up about that before you start to use these images in any commercial projects. Now, just while we're in here, we do also have a filter button, which allows us to search for specific types of images. So I can search by size. I can search by type, so if I want to photograph a clip art, or if I want something that has a transparent background. Now, this is an option I use fairly frequently. Sometimes maybe I'm looking for an icon or maybe a logo, but I don't want to have any background, even if it's just a white background. I just want images that have transparent backgrounds. And you can also do things like search for images by their layout, so square, wide, tall, and also color or black and white photographs only. So don't forget about those filters that you have within this little area. Now for this particular image, I don't need to do any of that. I'm going to click on insert and it's going to pull that through. And once again, I can just go ahead and resize that as necessary. I'm then going to jump up to the top of this document and just add in another bullet point. So we're going to say Big Ben and then for Paris, we're going to say Notre Dame like so. So pretty simple and straightforward to add pictures into your notebooks. If you've used Microsoft applications for a while, this will be like second nature to you. We're going to move on to the next module now where we're going to talk a little bit about inserting video into your notebooks. So I'm looking forward to that. I hope to see you over there. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. 
To get four free courses in Excel, QuickBooks, Microsoft Project, and Photoshop, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.